Hi guys, in, in our third example, straightforward example again, uh, this example we're going to discuss using a different gas law now. So in this example we have uh, dry ice. The dry ice is, is carbon dioxide that's present at a really, really, really low temperature. Now the mass of this uh, mass of carbon dioxide is 125 grams. The question states, how many liters of gas is produced at STP? So what is STP? STP is standard temperature and pressure condition. Now at sta standard temperature pressure condition, we have the temperature is 273 Kelvin and at this temperature and uh, having the standard, uh, having the temperature and the pressure constant, we have one mole of uh, any gas would give us 22.4 liters. So using those, we need to find out how many liters of gas are produced at STP. So in this case, we have the mass of carbon dioxide. So the mass of carbon dioxide is 125 grams. Now, we have the temperature being constant and the pressure being constant. In this case, we use Avogadro's law. And Avogadro's law states, sorry, let me just erase this part. So Avogadro's law, states that volume is directly proportional to amount of gas present at constant temperature and pressure. So V is directly proportional to N. So now we can see the relationship between the number of moles and the volume. If volume increases, the number of moles increase. Number of moles will, when the number of moles increase, sorry, the volume will increase. So of course that makes sense because let's say you're adding, uh, you're blowing, uh, you're inflating a balloon. The more air you add, the more volume you're going to see, the more expansion of the balloon, right? So now that we have this formula, how can we use this formula in order to calculate the, uh, the liters of gas produced? So over here, we start off by getting the number of moles of gas present. So number of moles of CO2 is equal to mass over molar mass. So we know the mass is 125 grams. What is the molar mass of carbon, uh, carbon dioxide? So we have carbon that's 12 and we have oxygen and that's 16 times 2 because we have two oxygens. So 12 plus 16 times 2. And then over here you would get 125 grams over 44, sorry, 44 grams per mole. So now we do the calculations. Sorry, we do the calculations over here. So we cancel off the grams with the grams, so we so we left off with the moles. Two point eighty four moles. So now that we found the number of moles, let's see how many liters would that come up to. So we know that one mole. We know that in one mole there's twenty two point four liters of a gas. So in order to find how many 2.84 moles have, we simply multiply this relationship by the amount of moles that we have. Cancel off the units and we get, let me do the calculation. So if we calculate 22.4, times 2.84, that should give you 
0.6 liters of carbon dioxide. So there you go. We managed to use the relationship, Avogadro's relationship, that number of moles and volume are directly proportional. And we managed to figure out how, many, how much volume is present um, of carbon dioxide at STP. So remember, you're going to see STP a lot. It's at STP conditions, you have one mole of a gas gives you 22.4 liters. And STP conditions are temperature at 273 and pressure at one atmosphere.